what is self plan it's, it's, it's self plan right it starts right away from uh, the recruitment process of when we are getting these blood donors and the blood donors of course are selected through rigorous uh, procedures we have to uh, look at the health status of the um, blood donors at the end of the day we screen them so they, 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 there's a lot of screening that takes place to see that at the end of the day we have safe blood after collection of this blood through from the eligible groups we again go ahead to take it through the process of um, um, uh, ABO blood grouping and then uh, the cross matching and I mean trying to separate this uh, the whole blood we get these blood components because it's not only blood but we get blood components from um, the blood itself some people will not need whole blood some people will need concentrates of red blood cells some people will need platelets and I mean this whole process it has to occur putting in mind a high degree of quality and this of course comes at a cost which cost needs us humanitarians to get on board blood shouldn't be so it shouldn't be sold at anyone okay it shouldn't be sold out to anyone right from the blood connection that's why among the uh, recruitment processes we look strictly at um, recruitment of uh, volunteers and strictly uh, under WHO it is non-remunerated what volunteers we are not paying anyone to come and donate blood and if no one is paid to donate blood, why should anyone pay for blood? So we are fighting this vice as well. I know it is also uh, one of the vices in uh, the health uh, care delivery, but we really stand against that as well. So after that, all these processes of um, making, uh, I mean, making sure that safe blood is transfused uh, to the uh, required uh, recipients, it takes a lot of, uh, 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 I mean, it goes through a lot of processes which has to incur a lot of costs. These machines are very expensive, um, but we really, I want us to give a hand of applause to the Rotarians for at least the tremendous job they have done so far. Looking out for this, one of the greatest causes of human uh, laws of life, and then we're trying to embark on it. We already have a blood bank in place, and um, I stand to be corrected, but I'm sure we've uh, already uh, acquired the uh, TTI machine. Yes, uh, TTI machine is a, in simple terms, is a transfusion, a transmissible infection uh, machine. So this entirely works on screening for these infections. We have those infections, we are screen out for, there are five, Hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, uh, malaria, and syphilis. We try to screen this such that even that person who receives that blood gets a safe blood transfusion at the end of the day. We, want, we don't want to, 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 to increase the risk of infections, extending it to uh, people who are supposed to receive this blood. So this is a safe uh, blood transfusion, strictly. And through that, of course, we are now looking forward to acquiring the um, the uh, uh, anti antibodies and then the ABO blood grouping. We are trying to see that this compatibility. You, 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 if your blood group or plus, you receive that same blood group that you really need. Okay, and if you to receive it, it should be safe blood. So through this, it's an initiative that uh, uh, the Rotarians thought uh, wise enough to embark on this program, and I pledge that I and my wife here, we are going to be advocating fully for this and we shall fight until the day ends to see that no one in Uganda dies of a blood stock out. That one we shall fight. I thank you so much for listening to me. Um, thank you the media personalities and um, the audience. I take back the microphone to the speaker. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Hamza and your wife. And please, another round of applause. Thank you for your pledge and we'll hold you to it. I'm sure the media here would love to hear from your wife as well. Rema, we would love to hear a word or two from you. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking. Um, first of all, I'm very grateful to be a part of this initiative and uh, it is one of those that I'm very proud to be a part of because first of all, I'm a mother and a woman and my husband being a doctor, I used to take these things for granted, you know, because, you know, you feel like, ah, you're in charge of this thing. When you need blood, you can get it. When a family member gets sick, they need blood, you can easily get it. You don't get any difficulties, you know. Even if they tell you to buy it, you're like, you, you know, you can get it. And, uh, my husband has taken me through the blood crisis and I felt right there and then I had to be a part of this. I'm a mother, I know what women go through during childbirth and my husband has told me the loss of blood, like it is the biggest cause of maternal death. It is so touching when they just, when you get to know that we get to lose so many lives because people can't access blood. There isn't enough blood. Yet we can do something about it. Voluntarily, people out there come out, donate blood for a good cause. And we're here today because we want to fundraise and get um, to equip our blood bank. You know, and my husband told me to get a high-end blood gripping machine. So this is going to help us to close the gap between to close the gap of blood needs in Uganda. I, for one, am ready, I'm ready to sensitize people. Because before, I wasn't so much aware. But my husband sensitized me. And I'm ready to do the same. I'm ready to let people know. Let people out there know how important this is. First of all, um, on the 28th, on the 28th, here at Serena, 28th of this month, we're going to have very, very, very motivational, wonderful speakers. And I'll be performing as well. And I'm doing this at a no cost because at a no cost, I feel people should come out. Those that really want to see very much, give a, a little something, and that is going to help us to restock our blood bank. And after restocking it, I call upon all Ugandans voluntarily to donate blood so that we stock our blood bank to be normal. Even if it means going around telling people, like sensitizing people, I'll do it. Because I used to take everything for granted and I'm so grateful for my husband. Thank you for making me aware of whatever happens there because Ngabu Mogira every day he tells you about everybody could do it and you feel like to live away we need help. I think we can do this. We can do this ladies and gentlemen to so what have to feel in your way and we promise you me and my husband we are going to be a part of this mpaka mpaka because 
Chiva Kumuti Makofe. I would like to thank the Rotarians. Thank you so much. Omtimogo, you know. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, my husband, for making me a dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Blood unites us all. We are united by blood. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Don't forget, 28th this very month, to the Wali, to the here, Serena. Um, I'll be performing and I uh, will have those wonderful speakers. There will be lots of entertainment. Yes, come in. There's something a little, a little help. Save the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we want to thank you so much for that pledge to support this wonderful cause. I also want to thank Dr. Hamza. Now that Reba knows about it, the whole world will know about it. So we can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite our partners and our brand ambassadors and our medical staff to come for a group photo and whereby we will have the dummy checks after which we can then have the question and answer. Because I'm aware that some media houses have to, to run. Okay, so we do it quickly and then we can have our Q&A after which I'll all invite you to tea. I'm willing to do whatever. Be it a song, going to Kisenye, like you said, I'll go to any part of this country, I will. And, um, yeah. I'm willing to, to do whatever to sensitize these people. And since I have a huge following, trust me, by the end of this all, my need is all because, yeah, but I know. And my people are very good listeners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I think um, our Lord will pass so much for <laughs> From what my wife just said. Yeah, um, I think um, the advocating will be done in different aspects, depending on our different. Uh, um, uh, I know some qualifications, but our different careers. She is uh, an artist, and not just an artist, but a very good one. <laughs> so, <laughs> trust me, Lord. Uh, she will advocate for that through th uh, through songs, different concerts. I will make her readily available. That I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I myself. I mean, this is still, okay?